Hello students, welcome to Daily Dose 28th August News Analysis. Today we will be dealing with some of the important things which have come in the Hindu PIB etc. So the first in news is regarding Bipar Bheel breathes easy after eco-sensitive zone notification. So uh, some of the part of this Bipar Bheel wetland which is also a reserve forest area and a wildlife sanctuary in uh, Assam area, Guwahati area of Assam. It breathes easy after the eco-sensitive zone notification. So some of the areas which are under the Deepar bin, they have come under or they have been recognized as an eco-sensitive zone. So coming uh, uh, under this eco-sensitive zones means that the protection level has now increased. Right? There are some activities which were earlier allowed, but now they will be completely prohibited. Just a construction activity, mining activity. Uh, some uh, airport or something th like that related activities, all of them will now be prohibited or agar karna bhi hai, toh, they will be quite strict re re notifications or uh, restrictions which will be followed in that area, right? So, eco-sensitive zone mein aane ka yehi uh, fayda ho jata hai, that protection level will increase now, conservation efforts will increase. So, ye sari cheezo hoti hai. Important over here is now you have to find out everything related to what eco-sensitive zone means. Kaun kaun si committees thi? There was one Madhav Gadgil committee, right? Or iske pehle bhi ek committee thi, jinho ne eco-sensitive zone ke baare mein cheeze boli thi. And accordingly, uske baad eco-sensitive areas jo hai, they have been recognized in India. So, you have to go through this and what are the advantages of an area being declared as eco-sensitive zone. Second important point in this news is regarding the Parbi. So you have to uh, read about this on the Wikipedia page. Read a little about this the Parbi, where it is being located. It's uh, any unique feature of it. Most of the things are given and have been given in your uh, news piece also. If you get to know this, uh, I mean, if you read it out, and rest of the things you have to go through uh, this uh, Wikipedia page of this, right? Uh, along with it. Every other related aspect in Assam, just say wildlife conservation areas, what, uh, what are the major, uh, these national parks which are present in the, in Assam region, all these things now will be covered in this. Okay, so these are all things you have to do. So here, the thing is that now it has, uh, this, no, the notification which had been given by Ministry of Environment and Forest, it has said that the eco-sensitive zone of the Parbeel Wildlife Sanctuary on the southwestern edge of Guwahati, it had been declared, right? Then, uh, pe in this particular, all the important things have been seen ki kaha kaha pe kya degradation hua hai di par bheel mein. And what are the areas which requires uh, significant attention, right? So, this particular notification, it has said, it has specified an area to an extent varying from 294 meters to 43.6 uh, this kilometers. The eco-sensitive zone with a total area of almost 1 lakh square kilometer, right? So, now uh, what will happen That no new construction, commercial hotels and resorts shall be permitted within 1 kilometer of the boundary of this protected area or up to the extent of the eco-sensitive zone, whichever is higher. Among the activities which have been prohibited in this particular zone will be hydroelectric power projects, brick kilns, Commercial usage of firewoods and discharge of untreated effluents. So, these are the common things you will get to recognize that these things should not be permitted in any eco-sensitive zone. Rest of the things you have to keep in mind by looking through other eco-sensitive zones in India. Western Ghats is one of the reason, region, right? Now, the Parbeel has been used as a sponge for Guwahati sewage because it attracts a lot of uh, industrial effluents and other waste, commercial waste, etc. in it. So, that's why it has been regarded as a sponge as a sponge in Guwahati region for a long period of time. The wetlands have also suffered, suffered from seepage of toxins from the garbage dump at Bodragao adjoining it, right? So, uh, then elephant visiting is also here from two regions, Garbanda Reserve Forest and Rani Reserve Forest and the wetlands are an integral part of the elephant habitat. So, these are all things you should keep in mind. They can give you certain specifications, certain characteristics of this particular place and they may ask you which important region it signifies or it shows. In 2018, such question came regarding one, uh, one of the national forests in India and it, it was a forest in, a reserve forest in Tamil Nadu, I think, right? So, koi bhi characteristic feature, unique characteristic, you should know about them. Okay? 
Next is Indian astrophysicists spot rare merger of three jumbo black holes. Rare merger, this reason I'll tell you why. Or merging of black hole is a very significant phenomenon. Especially after the detection of the gravitational waves, the Einstein's theory regarding the black holes have become very crucial. They have become quite significant. And that's why now these things are coming more into news, right? So, in se related, jo bhi important aspects hai, you should know about it, or jo bhi, uh, related concepts hai, that you should know, right? This is make important term aega, active dialectic nuclear. Active dialectic nuclear. Is ke mein, I will tell you in detail also. Rest of the things ki is me ek or term aega, that is the final parsec problem. Okay? So, see, you don't have to go into detail. PhD nahi karni hai in subjects pe, in topics pe, but at least. A common sensical information jo hai, those things have to be there in your mind. Class 10 tak ke physics ka, jo bhi aspect hai, whatever aspects have been covered till class 10 physics, those things at least should be clear in your mind. Thik hai? Rest of the technologies, jaise jaise terminologies aayengi, vaise vaise I'll try to cover it up. Lekin ek basic terminology jo hai, wo pata ho ni chahiye. Thik hai? Now, important points over here is, pehle to a rare merging of three supermassive black holes, they, they have been spotted by our Indian astrophysicists from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. This is only the third time that such an event is happening. Though black holes ka merger is a common phenomenon, not that common, but common hai, but three black holes ka merger possible nahi hota hai generally because of that parsec problem. I'll tell you how, theek hai? Now, the two galaxies which are merging are NCG7733 and NCG7734. You need not remember the names of these galaxies. Bas yaad rakho, three merging galaxies jo hai wo, or three galaxies they are merging in the Earth's celestial neighborhood. Now, neighborhood ka matlab ye neha, although our nearest neighborhood galaxies uh, is your, uh, this, this particular galaxy belongs to Tukan const uh, constellation. Or Hamari Jo Sabse nearest galaxy, that is Andromeda galaxy. But in physics, we always go through the relative terminologies. Right? Ab jaise we say that Mars is, uh, sorry, this uh, Jupiter is near to Earth, uh, Jupiter is far away from Earth and Mercury is nearer to the Earth. So, ye relative cheeze hoti hai. Hai? Though it is very, very far away from the Earth, but in terms of physics, we are saying that we, these two galaxies are nearby or neighborhood galaxies from the Earth's galaxy. Right? But our nearest galaxy is Andromeda, so there are a lot of information which is there. The three merging black holes were part of the galaxies from the Tukan, uh, uh, this uh, uh, constellation. And uh, what happened was, there were certain unusual waves which had been detected. So, the, in the Earth's celestial neighborhood, when they detected unusual emissions from the center of this particular Galaxy and a curious movement of a large bright, bright clump within it having a different velocity than the other galaxy, right? So, uh, in this, whatever things have been written, ki kya hona chahiye, kya nahi, all these things I have covered. Now, what is parsec, final parsec formula? Okay. So, yaha pe if you see this final parsec, what it says is, ki whenever the two galaxies come near each other and they try to merge. What happens is there is loss of certain energy. Okay, dono galaxies se kinetic energy ka loss hota hai. One form of energy will be converted into another. Tabhi koi bhi body jab collision hota hai, to kya hota hai? Ya to momentum uh, jo hai, wo save hota hai. Right, either the momentum get con conserved, momentum is al already conserved. Matlab, uh, it always get conserved, right? So, momentum get con conserved and energy is changed from one form to another. Same thing happens here that if two galaxies, they collide, their black holes will also come closer by transfer of kinetic energy to the surrounding gases from the stars, right? The distance between the black holes, it decreases with time until the separation between them or the separation around them is around one parsec, that is 3.26 light years. Now, as this dissipation of energy takes place, the two black holes, they are then unable to lose any further kinetic energy when they come very close to each other and get even closer and merge. Okay, very energy ab ho jati hai ki wo aur pass aa sake ya merging ho sake. 
सो दिस इज नोन एज द फाइनल पार्सिक प्रॉब्लम तो अगर दो मर्जिंग गैलेक्सीज में ये प्रॉब्लम आ जाती है दैट मीन थर्ड का मर्ज होना इज अ वेरी रेयर फिनोमिना इसीलिए ये रेयर फिनोमिना हो जाता है कि जब दो गैलेक्सीज में ही इतने कम डिस्टेंस पे इफ दे कुडेंट कम क्लोजर टू ईच अदर ऑन मर्ज देन हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल अदर थर्ड गैलेक्सी इज कमिंग एंड मर्जिंग राइट सो बट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द थर्ड ब्लैक होल कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पार्सिक प्रॉब्लम दैट इज पार्सिक डिस्टेंस राइट सो एज इट कम क्लोजर वेन अनदर ब्लैक होल और अ स्टार पास इज बाय एंड टेक्स अवे सम ऑफ देयर कंबाइंड एंगुलर मोमेंटम तब जो है वो मर्जिंग पॉसिबल हो जाती है अमंग द टू नियर बाय गैलेक्सी ठीक है तो दिस सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फाइनल पार्सिक प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट्स वाई द डुअल मर्जिंग ब्लैक होल्स मर्ज विदर ईच अदर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दी थर्ड राइट Now many active galactic nuclei or supermassive black holes at the center of the galaxy pairs have been detected in the past but triple agn are extremely rare and only a handful have been detected before using x-ray observations ab active gal sorry active galactic nuclei kya hai so what is this it, it is a compact region at the center of a galaxy kisi bhi galaxy ke center mein ek active region वेरी विच इज वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट दैट मीन्स वहां पे ग्रेविटेशनल पुल बहुत हाई होगा एंड दे आर वेरी डेंस काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी और एनवायरमेंट विल बी क्रिएटेड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर स्पेस राइट दैट इज अ मच हायर दैन नॉर्मल ल्यूमिनोसिटी इनकी ल्यूमिनोसिटी भी मतलब सराउंडिंग एरिया से दे विल बी हाईली ल्यूमिनस राइट ओवर एटलीस्ट सम पोर्शन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम विद कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इंडिकेटिंग देर आर फ्यू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच विल इंडिकेट दैट The luminosity is not produced by these stars. जो highly luminous light दिखती है वहां पे बीच में in the middle of that galaxy, results have shown that that is not because of these stars. The luminosity is not because of these stars. So from where is this luminosity coming? Such excess non-stellar emission they have been observed in the radio, microwave. Infrared, optical, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray wave bands. Almost every wave band in the electromagnetic spectrum have this non-stellar emissions, right? These emissions are from active galactic nuclei. That is theorized to result from accretion of matter. Accretion means basically getting into pieces, more number of pieces, and because of that, lot of energy gets dissipated, dissipated, and that gets converted into some form of light energy. or it dissipates some kind of energy right so accretion of matter basically todna chote chote tukdon mein todna is accretion like we you you might have heard about the term accretion disk disk accretion disk around any um uh, this uh, black hole right wo jo uh, whatever uh, we had heard about 2020 mein what uh, the in 2019 there was an image right Which had been observed by the observers, and it was the, for the first time that an image of black hole was seen. So actually, black hole नहीं दिखा था. It was the accretion disk which became visible to the observers, and on the basis of that, certain kind of simulations have been done, and then this whole black hole phenomena, yeah, image of the black hole had been created. ठीक है तो वो accretion disk होती है. That is. बाई अ सुपर मासिव ब्लैक होल एट द सेंटर ऑफ इट्स होस्ट गैलेक्सी तो उससे ये एक्टिव गैलेक्टिक न्यूक्लियाई से ल्यूमिनोसिटी प्रोड्यूस होती है एंड बेसिकली दीज एजियंस आर ऑफ फोर काइंड एजियंस आर ऑफ फोर टाइप्स राइट सो देर आर फोर टाइप्स दैट इज वन इज स्टेफर गैलेक्सी राइट सेकेंड इज क्वाजार्स हर्ड अबाउट दिस देन ब्लेजार्स and radio galaxy these are the four types of active nu active galactic nuclei right so these are you don't have to go into detail just know about some few uh, basic points or uske basis pe hi question to solve ho jayega but ek interest aata hai if you read through right and i have provided you a youtube link also on this page this particular youtube link is pe jao aur dekho ki how these active galactic nuclei are produced right so you will get a, a, a clear clear picture of that so active galactic nuclei they are most luminous persistent sources of electromagnetic radiation in the universe and as such can be used as means of discovering very distant objects jo ki they may not be visible by our normal uh, highly uh, active uh, these uh, telescopes and all right 
and numerous subclasses of agents have been defined based on their observed characteristics as i told you the most powerful agents are classified as quasars and blazar is an agent with a jet pointed towards the earth so if you see this figure if there this is a this is particular galaxy this is the active galactic nuclei then this is the approaching jet of light which is coming super massive black hole with accretion disk and jets this, this is the approaching jet this is the receding jet observer nearby near the nearest material to that particular active galactic nuclei or accretion disk is the blazar then the rate this observer who is a little beyond from that particular site is the radio loud quasar and the most distant person or the most distant observer will see a radio galaxy likewise there is a stiffer galaxy also right so this is a little idea about active galactic nuclei which you have to go through and just go through this youtube link you will be uh, getting a clear picture of this right next is the article which i have picked up from down to earth so this is uh, one of the tropical wetlands is climate change killing uh, pantanal the world's largest tropical wetlands it is in south africa uh, sorry south america so during a climate crisis the world's largest tropical wetlands must be saved before it is too late what is happening so the pantanal wetlands they are located in the heart of south america so in the map you have to find out this wetland particular wetland right and our world's largest tropical wetlands home to wealth of biodiversity they stretch from brazil into paraguay and bolivia right now what is the special feature of this particular wetland is that unlike the amazon rainforests which get affected by forest fires and get destroyed by it these vegetations which are present in pantanal wetlands they have evolved to coexist with the fire many plant species there require the heat from fires to germinate they have adopted themselves or adapted themselves to such surrounding where they can germinate some of the plants they germinate their seeds during the forest fires often caused by lightning strikes these those natural fires they spring up at the end of the dry season but surrounding flood plains prevent them from spreading right so is say they protect themselves from the forest fires and some even have adapted to germinate during the fires this is the youtube link which i have provided again you can go through and see the kind of destruction which is happening in this region so what's different now is the drought contributing further to the usually dry conditions and exacerbating exacerbating the fire risk unceasing fires have killed many species or left them without homes to migrate to so excess ki koi bhi cheez hamesha galat hogi though they have adapted themselves but still the drought like situations are exacerbating the situation and some of the plants who have adapted earlier they will not be able to germinate as of now The number of fires in the region have been drastically increasing with each passing year. In 2020, there were 3,506 fires from January 1st to July 22nd, a 192% increase from 2019. And in 2019-20, the region suffered the worst drought in 50 years. So this is a cause of this is a point of concern. A crucial emphasis is needed on in this in the terms of climate change and everything where we are seeing a lot of destructions. This is going to create this is going to be a very uh, pertinent problem may be faced by other countries in the near future which we has to be seen so with this we end up our uh, this today's daily dose uh, lecture tomorrow uh, on sunday or monday uh, most probably uh, we will be uploading up the rest of the lectures which were pending earlier so 24th and 25th i think both uh, the dates i'll be covering up uh, tomorrow or on monday they will be provided you in one video lecture right So we end up our lecture today. We'll meet on Monday again. Thank you, class. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Civil Station.